by the Xena Mini World Tour, we set up a studio in the Mini Pacement Garage in Milan. We documented what happened in the garage and filmed a series of interviews to find out the key themes of this year's Design Week. My name is Andrew Warming and um, I'm responsible for Mini Design. The Mini Pacement Garage is centered around how people act within a mini community. They end up talking about every other thing that involves their life and that's why we have these different stations. Within this garage we have a record shop, we have where you can get electronic magazines, we even have a barber shop, you have a coffee shop, you can get something to eat and we even have a little cinema where you can go and watch movies. And it's sort of like the extended life around the garage and the mini. We're at the Dezina Mini World Tour studio here in Milan and I've got with me Johanna Argerman ross who's the editor-in-chief of Dezenio magazine. Hi Johanna. Hello Marcus. What are the designs or the trends or the personalities or the issues that have really struck you this year? I think so far I've been quite impressed that uh, the fair itself and the fairgrounds in Rowe have been very well visited. I mean it always is but it's really been exceptional numbers. It's also full of some very interesting projects. Um, Normally I have found lately in the last few years that going to the city and going to the independent exhibitions have been where things have really happened and things have been really interesting. Uh, but I feel like there's a, a return to looking at the reason why we are all here, which is the actual commerce of the fair, you know, the, the wheeling and dealing and the showing off of new products by the bigger brands. This week started as a place for furniture brands, lighting brands to put their products in front of potential buyers. Over the last 10 years it sort of morphed into a something else, but are you saying that maybe it, it needs to go back to its core of sticking to what it's good at? Well, I mean, I think so. I mean, after all, if the industry uh, uh, doesn't work, then uh, the, all the other things can't happen either. I mean, there needs to be an economy and, 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 and a, a, what do you call it, like a, a network for these things to function. Uh, the fact that the manufacturers, the designers, they need to make money on this in order to survive, in order to exist. Uh, and without that, without that be working and without that being a sort of a healthy, uh, a healthy commercial uh, branch of design, the other things won't exist either, you know, I think one supports the other. Uh, and I think that potentially um, we see a return back to um, new product launches, in fact, also quite stripped back product launches. There's no one really showing, you know, 20, 30 products. There's a few news and I think that that's what's interesting. Everyone's taking a step back, trying to kind of really be quite precise in what they put out and make strong products that seem to be quite close to hitting the market instead of it, you know, being just a product for show that then won't go into production. So I think it's, it's, a, it's a tighter output altogether.